Hello everyone! Thanks for joining me. Today we'll be collecting all the remaining lore in the Lethesta region before moving on to face Thelos across the chasm. So let's get started.
Greetings. Gauntlet Bearer, I have an important mission. Take this letter. It is of utmost importance to the Knights. Deliver it to the mining village, to a woman by the name of Colehand at a house on the mountain to the left. That is all. Um... The Knights told me to greatly reward anyone who'd help me, as long as they don't ask further questions. It is an exquisite dye you won't find elsewhere. The letter contains very sensitive information. Don't you dare open it. I'll never work for anyone again. You think you'll survive? I hope. has been doing so much for us. We're grateful to her. She has given us hope. To all residents, let it be known the Knights of Bastengar have come to liberate, not to conquer. We saw the plight of the working men and women and answered your call. We seek not to take, but to give. Freedom, liberty, a new beginning. Any willing to help themselves may petition to join our ranks. Reach us, and you will be given the chance to fight for your freedom. With the Gauntlet Bearer at our side, we cannot lose. The time of Thelos's oppression is over. I ask you this as a friend of freedom. For a society where everyone deserves a name. Finally! Clear air! Oh. Why is everyone trying to clear the village of sand? There really is no point. You must be Colehand. I have a letter for you. You do? Oh, finally! I've waited so long for this. I hope he's doing fine. Knew you are the one. Even in the darkest of times, propose to you in person. 
Could the day be close where we become united forever? Oh, I need to answer him, but I can't just write a simple letter. Please, you've got to help me prepare some flowers for him. There's some dale vines that grow around our village. There's also a rare essence-infused flower that grows up on the rocks, the White Mountain Bloom. Please get me one of those as well. up after this sandstorm will take forever. Why don't you clear the sand tomorrow? This is pointless. Have you got all the flowers? I've got the dale vines you wanted. Those should look great. I've also got the white mountain bloom you wanted me to get. Perfect. Let me quickly tie them together and give you my response. But no peeking. Oh, I can't wait. Please hurry to my beloved and give him my regards. Greetings. I return with an answer from Colehand and this big bouquet of flowers. She replied? And she even made me a flower bouquet? Let me see. Children. A home and future together. I dare not believe it. She will be my wife, given I make it through this conflict. I feel the fire of love burning inside me. Nothing shall stop me now. I will embrace her in my arms when our new order is in place. And together we will start a family. Thank you, Gauntlet Bearer. Know that you have done me a great service. And I will fight hard until Thelos is brought down. Here, as promised, some money and the die. Please, make good use of them.
It is time to put this essence we have been accumulating to use. I think I learned how these essence stones are formed. The wraiths come from the sands, this is obvious. But they need to channel the power of Thelos. When a wraith is slain, it sometimes falters, and the power of Thelos condenses into an object. And this object looks like a stone full of otherworldly powers. An essence stone. It also seems to have something to do with the size of a wraith. I wonder if the essence stone a huge wraith leaves behind is different from others. The meat didn't lure the rife, but for some reason, it is still there. The animals should have eaten it by now. Odd. I've decided to show myself to the rife. From a distance, of course, not to threaten it. Perhaps it can get accustomed to me being around. Oh, this may take days, or weeks. I've decided to call it Sandy.
The sundial has been mentioned in many ancient texts, but its purpose is much disputed. For sure, the realm of Thelos lies beyond it. But in the old tongue, a word had many meanings. We know the sundial as an altar, but is it really that? The ancient word could also mean bridge, or gate, or something else entirely. In any case, the Sundial is a place of power and worship for Thelos. Godlike powers hold the chains, and only the Thousand Year Queen remembers the world without it. I'm selling all kinds of great things. Great things <laughs> for great customers. Thank you again for retrieving the artifact. Take a look at my wares. Show me your wares. Have you stumbled upon some old toys? I'd know someone to sell them to and can pay you more than on other occasions for them. Happy to buy this. But don't get mad if I sell this with a profit. Ah, I needed that anyway. You don't need that anymore? Good. I'm hoping to deal with you again soon. It is time to put this essence we have been accumulating to use. The path to Thelos's realm begins on the other side of the chasm. That sundial. Some people say it was a gift from Thelos to show people the passage of time to eternity. It has always been here.
I made a mistake. Sandy didn't turn out to be a friend. No, not at all. Yes, I was too optimistic and thought it would have grown to like me. No, I spoke to Sandy and tried to soothe it. But when I got close, it... No, it... It lashed out. It hurt me. I fled with my life. Barely. Hid. Survived. It was a crazy idea. Now I can only hope that the Wraiths really don't have a soul and it will forget me. And not hunt me. But... I don't know. For a moment there, I... Thought I heard it... Speak. I want to know more about the wraiths, but I have to get close to one. It takes a lot of time and effort, and many people will say I am foolish to even try. I noticed a particular wraith that was always alone, as if it was looking for something. I'll place meat on the floor to try and lure it, to get closer. I heard a priest say the wraiths hold souls of the dead. If it's true, it might remember its former life. I am now sure of the similarities between these structures and the buried anvils. They both must be from the dark times when there was not just Thelos, but another one. A dark god. A name forbidden. For centuries the power in these structures and anvils slept. It is as if the eclipse of the sun awoke them. This is a bad omen. According to scriptures, the Essence Stones have been known for as long as these structures. Are they a curse too?
All right, we got there all the Wildlands lore, so let's end here and we'll continue on another video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.